Aaron, it seemed like a bit of a grind for Montgomery tonight. What were you seeing from him? Yeah, same thing. Um, you know, it seemed like he got ahead of a handful, but then just, um, you know, was I thought was a little inconsistent with his changeup and just, you know, got into some deeper counts and obviously um, a couple of mistakes, you know, the hanger to uh, Gural Muto and then, you know, probably a pitch he wishes he had back on the on the Gosling double. But he competed. I actually thought he finished, um, you know, a little bit better and got a little more aggressive with his fastball. Um, but, yeah, just a, just a lot of hard time putting some guys away or letting people back into the count a little too much. With the exception of Garrett Cole, you really have not received much length at all from your starting rotation. Are you concerned about that fact, especially knowing how the schedule is? Um well, I mean, the, the way our roster is constructed, you know, it, lo it does allow us to have some, you know, obviously a couple couple more arms in the bullpen. Um, but, yeah, you know, we've, you know, nothing beats, um, you know, several outings from your starters that give you length that really kind of preserve and set everyone up down there in that pen. And, you know, obviously a couple guys were working back and Massa building him up, um, you know, and hoping to get, patched and rolling like we know he's capable of so yeah we on the long haul we got to do a little better job of that Gary Sanchez really had a rough go offensively to start the season but you continued to voice your confidence in him what did you see that told you he potentially was capable of having a big hit like he did tonight well his track record and and how talented I know that he is as a hitter um so you know, he's he's certainly had his struggles and, you know, really struggling with his timing and stuff. I thought all night tonight, even, again, a couple of his strikeouts, the pop-up there to end the game, obviously the homer the other way. Um, you know, he's certainly not where he wants to be or where he needs to be, but hopefully, you know, he's starting to make those baby steps to get back and to be in the presence we know he is. Just a hit like that, can that help take a little bit of the pressure off too? I think so. You know, obviously that got us right back in the game. It was a good at bat. Um so, yes, I'm hoping that, um, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about the work he's doing behind the plate and, and, and the fact that, you know, he's, he's been able to separate the two. Um, but hopefully this is another step towards him getting back and right in the box. Thanks, Aaron. Mm -hmm. We'll take the next one from Ken Davidoff. Aaron, after uh, Torres struck out, I'm sorry, didn't strike out, flew out in the third inning. You spoke to the umpires. Uh, was that about the fans outside the premises making noise or was that something else? Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> it, it sounded like a horn was going off as the pitch. You know, in, in the environment we're in, it's almost like a, a golf environment where that sudden thing can – so I thought there was a timing element to it maybe that – Obviously, I didn't necessarily think they would be able to do anything about it. I didn't necessarily know who or where it was coming from, but it is something that I at least wanted to point out. And did they say that they couldn't do anything because the people were not even yeah, in the ballpark? Yeah, unless we saw somebody in the ballpark or, you know, something that we'll obviously make a note of, but that's about the extent of it. Thanks, Ron. Mm -hmm. Next one goes to Marley Rivera. And obviously, this is a rarity when uh, when your bullpen doesn't perform so well, and you have a short outing uh, from your from your starter. What, you know, how do you adjust when the game just seems you know kind of harder, even though it had come to you guys so easily before? Well, bullpen gave up zero runs, and, and <laughs> sorry about that. Yes. Yeah, I mean, so I mean, they did a great job of keeping us in the game and 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 allowing us to get back. So, you know, it was just a you know it was a grinded tough night you know, for Monty, you know, to get through four with, you know, whatever he ended up 95 or so pitches. Um, but, you know, the, the bullpen, you know, when, when we were short, a lot of people down there tonight that we we're obviously going to stay away from, you know, Hale comes in and does a great job. And then John Holder comes in and, and gives us, you know, a real big boost getting, getting us through two innings. So they did the job and gave us a chance. And I thought our at bats there against Naris, um, their closer, um, you know, I liked our bats all, all, all the inning against him and, and even Luke's to end the game, just missing really clipping one. Aaron, and in terms of Jonathan Holder, his changeup seemed like it was doing most of the damage today. Is mm -hmm. that, um, how, how pleased were you to see that? Yeah, I'm excited about the way John's throwing the ball. I mean, you know, his, 
you know, he's not overpowering with the fastball, but he's got really good characteristics to it. So he can pitch at the top with that pitch. And then, it, you know, if he's commanding his secondary and his changeup was great tonight, um, you know, that's he, he he's looking like, um, you know, more of the John we saw in 2018 and then parts of last year as well. Excited about where he is and the way he's throwing the ball right now.